Okay, guys. I'm here for my review of episode 16 of Power Rangers Dino Supercharged Shrieking Shrieking as we get ready for the finale of the series. So, Freaky Friday, this episode starts on Sledge 1, where Snide has an idea to switch the Rangers' bodies around because the Confused Ranger is a bad ranger or something. And they introduce this uh, monster with a uh, switch eraser. And he, get, and he switches Singe into Vivix to prove it works. And he also um, had... And Wrench resurrects Game Time and Nightmare to help out. And if this plan is successful, Snide wants Arcanon to split him and Heckle up. And he has pledged his loyalty to Arcanon, which Heckle is upset about because Heckle is like, how can Snide be a traitor? But Snide brings up that Sentai 6, as he keeps saying, is not Snide's home planet at all. So back, so at the Dino Museum, the Rangers are looking for a tagger who's been tagging graffiti, and when and they catch him, and he's Ivan's exact double. His name is Zach. He's Ivan's long long. He's Ivan's great great grandson, who they hide Ivan's age by saying that he is Zach's cousin. So. As, so the Rangers recruit Zack to clean up the mess he made, and during a smoothie break, Paint gets on his, uh, best, uh, jacket, which makes him learn that sometimes that's the kind of thing. It's kind of the be a moral from Riley. And then Ivan wants him to paint a picture, and Ivan's gonna teach him to paint, but at that time, the Rangers are attacked by the monster. And they, uh, the rangers show up and the monsters switch their bodies. Shelby and Tyler end up in different bodies and so do Code and Chase. And then Ivan and Riley show up and they get their bodies switched. And for some reason, despite most of these weapons being melee weapons, the rangers can't figure out just to, you know, swing it. Ivan and Riley are not a problem because they both use swords so they know how to use it anyway. So, back at the Dino Bite Cafe, or the Command Center, the Rangers have the newly switched Rangers have started dressing each other's clothes. And Shelby remarks that, tight, that being a Tyler's body, her clothes don't fit. And all that. This is some nice little fun stuff, but it's really not that, you know, much of anything. Uh, I've been saying that uh, the picture that Zach painted, which was of a knight of Xandar on a motorcycle, wasn't art made Zack throw the picture away, but Riley and Ivan's body found it, and he, uh, um, convinces, uh, Zack that sometimes what one person thinks is art, you know, you still need to keep up with or whatever, or some junk, uh, and he gives an analogy about a strawberry and lime smoothie that kind of went on too long, kind of like that old Chinese guy on too long, and didn't really go anywhere either. Uh, then that's when Keeper chimes in the moral of the day, too. Was And now Zenowing does it. So the Rangers go back to fight the monsters again, and they do a roll call saying what color they are, and get switched again. Zenowing shows up in Morse to help fight, but he gets his body switched with the monster, but the Rangers destroy the switch eraser, which undoes everything. And, you know, they... Uh, Zenowing uses his, uh, silver prism slash and an alt and a mega alternate victory or whatever it is. And then all three, that destroys the monsters, and then we get the magna beam to grow all of them, we get a megazord fight, that goes all of a minute, and it's, in the, and it's three monsters extinct. And for game time, a nightmare. That's the third time they've been extinct in one season. That's got to be a record for times a monster has been destroyed in a season. So, basically, Ivan then goes and patches things up with Zack. And Wrench finds the split emitters that the Rangers just left in the forest. You would think they would take those back to their base. But hey, as a MacGuffin to advance... A plot device of separating Heckle and Snide, so why not? 
And then Heckle vows revenge on all of them. So Heckle may not necessarily be a full good guy, but he's probably going to be that talent ranger that shows up sometime in the next four episodes. Uh, really, this episode, for what it was, was a pointless filler episode. And this late in the season, you probably don't need it. Uh, so it wasn't that great. I mean, I don't think it was bad. It had some good moments, but it didn't belong this late in the season. Uh, so we have four episodes left. We're going to see where they go. I know two of them will be a two-part finale. It's episode 19 and 20. And like I said, there is the Christmas episode that I am not going to review. So I have four more of these to do. And then I have... And then I'll be back when Ninja Steel comes to start reviewing Ninja Steel. So, that's my review of Power Rangers Dino Supercharged Episode 16, Freaky Fright Fight Day. If you like this video, like button down there, subscribe button down there, and thanks for watching. Bye.